Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Pontefract Racecourse here on Monday. It is the 11th of April, 2022. Good luck the fourth race to 340 from Pontefract. But before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at HorseRacingKit5 for more selections for racecourses around the world. And I mean it around the world. Let's look at the 340, the fourth race from Pontefract, which is Dryu Hotels and Resorts Handicap. It's class two handicap going for a purse thirty-four thousand dollars. Race for four year olds and upwards, horses rated eighty one to a hundred. Fourteen horses are going a thousand meters or five furlongs on the good to soft yielding turf course. My top selection here, I'm going to take the three-horse Rebel at Dawn. We'll go 385 in the Tri-Cash Trifecta. 385 Tri-Cash Trifecta. Top selection, the three-horse Rebel at Dawn. Four-year-old gelding by Dandy Man. Clifford Lee's on this one for Carl Burke. The horse's most recent out came 27th of November at Nottingham. Good ground, five frongs and a class three handicap. And the horse finished third by three and a half lengths that day. And, you know, he's with them early on, but then he just couldn't get the good momentum. The two and from him just kind of, you know, ran that better race. Coming here slightly softer ground, which I think he should absolutely love with a step down class. I think he's in a lot better run than he was last time out. Two back at Haydock on the 15th of October. Soft ground, six frongs and a class three handicap. He finished fifth by two and three quarter lengths. Again, was with them early on had the lead for a split portion but then i just think the six got to him i think he's a lot better horse back of five if the race was at five he would have made the race interesting late but just the trip was too long for him and then the second of october at ascot on heavy ground five frogs in a class two handicap facing some very tough horses he finished second by three quarters length and he was setting the pace early on he got caught late by bound boundless power who really just had a little bit of better jump on this one but this horse with no weight that that was really running decently against those tougher horses and then a muscles burr on yielding ground before that five frongs in class two uh, class three handicap he finished fourth by three and a quarter lengths there and uh, you know that day he just kind of was on the lead all throughout almost all throughout and um, you know just kind of hit the wall eight there um, I think I do think his better running styles from a track position hopefully he could track here today I do like the stand side post draw at eight to one watch out for him Watch out for the eight horse also, Spoof. He's getting some serious class reliefs from some of his most recent races on the turf last season. Um, you know, if he could run that race like he did on the 2nd of October at Ascot, he can win against these horses. Uh, you know, some of his most recent races, he kind of need those runs. But watch out for him. His hidden, he has some hidden form from last season that could really do wonders with these horses. But to recap my cycle for the 340, the fourth race from Pine Fract, let's take the three horse Rebel at Dawn. Give kudos to eight horse, Spoof. 385, Tri Cash Trifecta. 3 8 in the place pot. So good luck to all. Please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5. Good luck, everybody.